Hi, welcome back to Lily's Bonsai. Um, today, we just want to show you uh, a repot of uh, a blue cedar air layer we did. Um, not going to be really doing anything, you know, styling wise with this tree, um, just because we are repotting it as an air layer. It's been in moss um, for a little while, but there's new roots now kind of coming out the bottom. Um, and there we go. So it's kind of, you know, pretty exciting for me this one. Um, took a long while to get off. But yeah, we're just going to repot it. Like I say, not really do anything structural to it. I just want to make sure them roots start heading in the right direction. Um, and seeing how it's actively growing now, um, seems like a good time to maybe do something with it. Now there isn't a lot of roots, so we don't want to be getting too involved in it. But I just want to get it into some normal compost. Um, so I'll show you another one I did as an experiment. I planted one in kind of what I'm going to plant this in, with, with a bit of sphagnum moss, and this one just in moss. So, and in both of you know, done equally as good. So let's see what we've got then. There we go, as you can see, we lost a couple of little roots there because it fell off in a mass, but like I say, you can see just don't like their roots being played with anyway. I'd rather get a little bit of this out of the way now than come back, but they look like they're spreading out in kind of a radial way anyway so again this is from the original air layer you see so it was cut off there nothing was ever done with it so we'll go a little bit into here i won't push this as far as that juniper i did the other day um but we'll just have a look and see if we can straighten things out a little bit at this point before this starts growing very nerve-wracking this one like i say if if it was a deciduous plant or tree, I'd probably just pot it up, leave it alone and go back in at the right time of year and prune the roots as desired. But this, once it gets root, you know, once them roots start curling round or anything, it won't, um, it won't be easy to fix. This, start, this was done with the, um, the ring bark method as well, if anyone's interested. And we will go out and do one on a tree for you. Um, I just can't do one on the tree where this came from because there's, there's no material left at the moment. See, there's loads of new roots coming out here. Those ones there, you see, they're, they've browned off a bit as well, so that's good. They've kind of hardened off, gone away from that sort of fresh water shoot looking roots. Um, so, when, you know, that's positive to see. That'll help it kind of survive on its own. There we are. So we're going to do nothing else with that now, other than take a lot of care putting it into the pot, not to snap them roots off. We'll leave a little bit of moss around there. That will kind of encourage them more to pull out easy while it recovers from that. Go up a slightly larger pot on this because I don't want to have to go back into there for a while now. I'm going the soil a little bit so the roots have some support when they come down. The bottom, I think, we can leave. As it is, is, there's no need to cut any funny shapes on that. So very, very careful. We'll get that a bit more mounded up. So we're not compressing this soil, we're just trying to mound it up a little bit so we don't snap them roots off. And very, very carefully work those in. So we'll cut a little passage for that one. this even more so than cutting the original air layer you want to take time here. I'm just trying to anchor that 
piece of cut well at the bottom end, making sure that we're not, like I say, putting too much pressure on these roots. Just give them plenty of freedom. I think I'm happy with that. We haven't lost anything else. The roots are fanning out quite nicely. The tree is standing there, I wouldn't push it up though. As you can see, the roots in there now, nice and fanned out. We haven't broke any more off. I think we've lost two little roots in that whole process, so I'm quite confident we haven't you know, harmed a tree in any way. And now we've given it the best start if we are going to use it as bonsai. So we'll just backfill now. Like I say, very gently. Again, we're not in a rush for this part. There isn't really any voids where we need to be chopsticking. I'm pretty confident if you slowly shake the soil in there and push it around, a little tap down a couple of waters and that will be ample. Just try not to wobble it around at this point now you want that. This tree shouldn't move. If you can keep that dead still for a month or so, it would really benefit it. And there we go. Right, so as promised, we're gonna do a, an air layer of a cedar. Uh, I, you know, I can't obviously um, air layer the, the blue cedar I've got, um, but there's this lovely green one in the garden. Uh, I don't know the exact variety, but it's a bit like um, the foliage of an Atlantis blue cedar or a, uh, a Lebanese cedar. Um, but yeah, really nice kind of small needles, you know, dark green. Um, this one's just starting to wake up. Uh, you know, I found when I air layered my previous cedars, it didn't really make a difference what time of year it was. Um, you know, I've gone back and trimmed up the calluses on them, you know, various times and eventually they rooted. So we'll get these ones in nice and early and you never know, these might come off in a year. Um, I tried to pick a sunnier spot as well for it. So hopefully these get a little bit, it would have been better to have it a little bit taller, uh, you know, higher up the tree, but you know, we've got what we got here. So we'll have a little go. Start here, we'll clean up a little piece of this. We'll... We're going to use a ring bark method as well, by the way, to do this. What we come under there. So I'll pick that little area under those joins there. So there's been a few branches, so we're more likely to hopefully promote some root growth. We won't touch any of the foliage further down. A you know, sharp knife and then not exactly where you want to make the final cut, where your kind of nibiri is going to start. Just go in first and go a little bit under. And we'll come back and trim that up in a minute. With cedars as well, don't you know go cutting in too hard. The, the bark and the cambium is quite thick, um, but the softwood, you know, or the, well, the hardwood, sorry, you, you'll go if you go in too far, they're quite brittle and it will snap. So try not to put a, a score in there and encourage that. There we go. I'm going to work upside down, obviously, because we're in an awkward position. It'd be better better to cut towards the waist. Because of that branch there, obviously this bark's been a little bit of a pain to get off. Just persevere with it. Right, when you've completely removed that first ring of bark, now we just need to scrape that area. Go from the, the piece you intend to keep towards the waist, so you don't damage that first cut you've made. We just want to make sure we've got all that cambium there off because if there's any of that left it will slow down or if not bridge back over and you won't get no roots. So now you've done this, try not to bend from the 
end you're gonna keep because you might snap it off because you have weakened the structure. So now we've obviously cleaned that back, we scraped the cambium. We just wanna go round now on a top cut there and just put a nice clean cut on there. And we'll kind of head under that, you know, that branch there. Select a nice branch for use for bonsai. Um, you might want to, you know, select some of this movement and think about the angle that you make this cut as well. Um, and you'll be able to get the right angle of the nabiri for planting into a bonsai pot. That's that one cleaned off. So here I've got some sphagnum moss. Um, this is what we're going to use obviously as our medium. Um, just wrapped in some cling film, nothing special, tied off with some wire. Um, this here is probably a little bit different to what you're used to seeing. Um, this I get from my local nursery, they use it for hanging baskets. Um, but yeah, I found it really, you know, quite good. Um, moisture wise, you know, you can squeeze it. You shouldn't be getting a stream of water out of it. Um, just damp, you can check back, you know, not until roots appear, it won't really be that thirsty. Um, so yeah, there we go. So we'll do the first initial wrap on there. So really with this, you know, I like to work kind of in the middle there. You won't get roots off at the top here, but you know, it's nice to know that it's all covered. Bring some moss around just to cover it. So again, you know, you haven't had to achieve this in the wrap. With practice as well, you know, you'll, this will get easier. It's a little bit fiddly. So always go to check the tops and the bottoms, make sure you're not trapping nothing early on and all the moss is tucked in. So it won't just sort of funnel extra water in when it rains. So just for this first wrap, then we'll just bring that together. You know, you're not pulling this too tight, it just wants to be firm. So it holds together nicely. that wrap will probably do though. And we'll just tie it off with a few little pieces of wire. And then this end here, holding the work piece, as you want to keep. Just make sure all that moss is tucked in again. No foliage is trapped. Now these cedars, like I say, they are and they do take a long while. Other people like to use a tourniquet method to do it. Um, you know, if you try and read up on the internet, obviously, like I say, you'll kind of be uh, probably turned away from having a go. But, you know, if you have got a tree and you can leave it there a little while, then um, it's definitely worth having a go because I've definitely got cedars, you know, to, to air layer. So there we go. Well, hope you've enjoyed the video today. Um, that's all we've got for you. Um, there's the trees obviously potted up with the parent plant there. So we mentioned this in a previous video. Um, it was repotted recently as well, so we won't be doing anything with that for a little while. But the minute we can bonsai these or start to turn them into bonsai, um, we will. Um, but like I say, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've uh, maybe learned something from it. Um, and if you have, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be really handy to us. So brilliant. Take care.